So what's so wonderful about the Paul and Tribe and what's so special about the Sangyong? Peter's now going to demonstrate the difference. Bearing in mind this is on ordinary tyres, there's nothing specially arranged for this. We happen to be presented with these snowy conditions. So this is compacted snow. He's in position now, he's going to try and pull away. Selecting four-wheel drive. Starting to come in now, there it goes, it's in. Now watch the difference. These tyres aren't getting a lot of grip, but one way or another, he's off and he's away. You may not use your four-wheel drive for years when you've got one of these things, but when you need to, there it is, it works. The fact is, I'm actually enjoying this car. It seems to me that if you're in the market for a four-wheel drive, what you're looking for is something honest, basic, uh, that does its job and feels like something that does its job. It's, uh, you don't want acres of leather. You don't want um, something that's so precious. Uh, you don't really and out of it. That's a nice little cattle grid there. Um, this car feels old-fashioned, but it, that's what's good about it. That's exactly what you want it to feel like. It's uh, serious, honest. Like any car of this kind of size, there's a lot of um, load space in the back, but it's got a very heavy tailgate. It takes a lot of lifting. Once it gets going, it's fine, but it's the angle that it starts off at. The handbrakes a bit of a conundrum. They drive on the right-hand side Korea, its nearest market Australia. They drive on the right-hand side right throughout Japan, China, and some of us drive on the right-hand side. Why then is the handbrake on this car on the left-hand side? Some of these controls are relatively stylish, but where they are isn't. That's not what you're looking for in this car, so why worry? 